All right, so uh, welcome to the game lounge. And I'm just uh, adjusting my microphone. That way I can um, sort of kind of hear myself. just to put my master volume down a bit all right so let's play the game let's start the, the stream and it's uh we're gonna play some continue on a little more super metroid classic game fire up my my steam here Now, this is something um, I didn't realize what was going on here. So this is a new preload feature. So what happens is Steam before, um, apparently, when you ran the game, it ran from your app. And it, inst it actually ran from the, uh, it, if it wasn't installed, it ran directly from Steam so I put a game on the uh, you know secondary hard drive no matter what that game is gonna preload to another to, to the Steam folder itself and then it's gonna run so now with the preload it runs directly from the hard drive even if it's an emulated game like what I'm doing here One thing I did do, a couple things, I changed the frames per second in, in the broadcaster to uh, 59.94. And then in the NVIDIA graphics card, I changed the GPU to 50, or the refresh rate to 59. It fluctuates between 58 and 60. So that's just uh, in case you know you were wondering if you have something that operates at 60 frames a second. The reason they announced it is because the game is actually designed to go 50, uh, 68. Well, I'm sorry, 60 frames per second. However, a game like this one and other games they probably run at a standard 59.94 um, even if it's games like this it could run at 30 frames a second you know but um, it, it would run smoother at 59 Just uh, get my mic here, and you may even see a 
a lot better, a lot smoother frame rates from even an emulator because this is not actually 60 frames a second. It was never designed for 60 frames a second. All right, so let me just think about where I'm going next. Actually came down. Man, I ate something and it really just hurt my stomach. I, I guess I have to sit up and just digest. So it's kind of weird, but um. the uh, 60 frames a second you know you won't it I can show the 60 frames a second but um oh that's that's nice freaking missile I don't even know why they have those things but I kind of glitched out for a second there So what I'm actually doing now, remember it's the monitor capture. And so some things I learned while I head towards uh, the next area. Um, the open broadcaster version I'm using actually uh, It captured my voice perfectly. And that's a that's a big plus. If you listen to some of my previous videos, um I sounded like, you know, it, it was it was as if my voice was not muffled but more false, you know. Because um I have a deep voice, so if you listen to me in, in person, and then you listen to some of my previous videos it doesn't I don't <laughs> I wouldn't sound like you know it, it doesn't sound deep like it's a like I'm in water or something or muffled So this is, so as you can see, it's not, uh, it's between 58 and 60. So I might just save here real quick and I'll go ahead and put the 60. I don't know if it makes a difference though. I don't think it's going to make a difference. So I completely go full strength. Yeah, I don't know if it makes a difference. 
Alright, the only way to get to the next area. hesitant on getting that <laughs> I didn't mean to use a missile all right I gotta swing across this thing here so that's awesome I still Still love this thing. And then I get to actually swing on these now. All right, so I got a video that's in um, it's in YouTube right now look like it's still being up converted so I want to find out in a bit because the frame rate I recorded at it was 59.94 so hopefully uh, I get to uh, <clears throat> see a 60 frame per second video They uh they they come out of nowhere. So actually it looks pretty good, to be honest. So I think I, I think that was a annoyance. Hopefully I can I can share with people. But there's a lot. There's a lot of annoyances I've I found so far. Okay. I forgot his name. I thought it was Dragoon or something like that. He drops these fires down. I can hit him with the missile when he comes back. You know, trying to take him out. I never knew how to dodge these. So here's a good tip. Hold the charge and then just do a flip. hold the charge run and do a jump like this and you can avoid those uh, those, uh, those balls of flame there I don't really I don't really care if he fires all those
he's probably easier than um, the other bosses, I think. But I think this particular boss is uh, almost dead. I think he's a, um, a valuable, not really valuable, I think he's uh, an important part of the story after Metroid 3. Because um, Eventually, he's done. He's a ghost. He doesn't appear like a thing or something. And, yeah. So he just disappears like a ghost. And there might be more of those things out there, so... Alright, so after killing him, the entire ship comes back. And these little robots, they fire at you. So they're not your friends, apparently. But you can push them back. I think that's the exit. These little security robots. That's one thing about this this ship. Um, maybe I'll have to look up what um, some more information about this ship. You know, why was it here? It was a. Uh, This is an abandoned ship. I'll probably just do this, uh... I just do this ship. Yeah, you, I'm sealed in until I kill everything, so. Look at that. That screen right there. That looked like a... Um, a Metroid screen or something. All these screens. Maybe this was a. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Based on this, they were. You know, this is the the ship that really, or the space pirates came with. Push these guys back, knock them in that. Same with him. Push these little security droids back.
I forgot, let me look around, make sure there's nothing here. Alright, so I'm gone. It's just a missile. I hate those things. Alright, so I'm gonna go outside now. So, where I need to go now, and just, I could follow this guy. So, there's two ways to go. What's cool is these things look like, uh, you know, Star Trek. wonder why that second one is right there cuz I mean I never thought about it I never really thought about why this the second one is here. Either that or that there's the third one. Oh, I see. I see. I bet, um, Might be something I never um, well, they sort of kind of move at the same speed. I'm thinking, well, this is the top. So I don't, I don't get it. Like this is where I came from. So why would I care um, what's up there? Why would I want to get on that thing? Why would I, why would I care to get on that? And now it's gone. So it's just going to the top. All right, so. Okay, there's that path. There's another path. At least I think there is. There it is, right there. I need to go right over here. The whole fill back up. And where'd I just come from? Oh, straight up there. That's a load of crock. But then again, this is a video game. Gotta blast your way back out. And this is the hole. So I didn't go in the water. Um, the current suit that I have, you 
know, as you can see, I move extremely slow in the water. All right, so I guess while I, uh, oh crap. So some bandwidth, um, some bandwidth woes. Well, not really bandwidth. Oh, I, I didn't realize what I was holding on to. So they disappear if you if you look at these. And I could take another hit. Yeah, so they disappear. So you don't want to swing on those too long. You want to. <clears throat> You want to swing on them and get off of them. But I didn't realize the bandwidth woes. Um, there we go. Streaming at 60 frames per second. Watching the monitor at 60 hertz. Pushed my monitor between 59 and 61. Um, didn't think I could, you know, so that it, it, a lot depends on the TV. I'm gonna go back here. It's a nice little secret back here. Sorry, I got to kill off the Kozo. All right, so. That's what I want, I want that reserve tank. But you see the placement of it, you know, you got to run really fast. If you just kind of, you know, you can see where I landed. Not a not a big deal, but the more reserve tanks you can get, the better. Now, the ultimate suit, the gravity suit. So, again, there's a lot of question about the ghost ship. Why was it here? This could have been the Kozo's uh, ship. You know, who knows? But obviously, this gravity suit is what the mother brain was protecting. And now, with the gravity suit, I can move in water like it's nothing. Which is pretty cool. Now I had no idea I could do that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and wait a minute. Where am I going? The room I didn't go into. Right here. Thought it was up. 
I had to stop and think a moment. And this part, I didn't have to take a hit, but I had to take a hit. Alright, so I think it's up here. Yeah, there it is. If I go through that door right there, that's the back of the ghost ship. So I don't need to go that way. That's going into a whole nother section that I'm not ready for. Alright, of course, there's a whole new area there. Let's do this again. Alright. Just gotta get a big swing across. It would be nice if I could roll on a ball and it makes the water go down. What? just a dream going right back same way I came all right going going to the save and my headset just kind of Volume control fell down. And I'm going right to the uh, going right to the save room and That should be it for the ghost ship. There's nothing else here. All right, save is complete, and uh, it's definitely been uh, been a pleasure. next section before we go there is just a couple items we need to go and find um, but we're going back towards the Norfair area and the next one will be pretty pretty big might take an hour to get through this section maybe an hour and a half because there's so many items so thanks for watching uh, Happy gaming.